Alright guys, continuing on with the next part of this tutorial. Now we're going to just open where we left off. Ooh, not there. Um, I was actually working on this a little bit earlier. So um, I guess the easiest way is um, I'm going to go ahead and just clear seams. And um, basically we need to UV unwrap this. Um, I want to bake the ambient occlusion so that way we don't have to worry about it. So I'm just going into edit mode and selecting these two loops for this area and just press control E mark same and now the trickier part. Now I tried a lot of different ways. I tried to let it automatically unwrap. I tried to uh, use a every different way. I even tried using the new light wrap un unwrap method and they all ended um, ended up looking very nasty. So I'm just selecting verts around it and let's see And we're just cutting a controller in a way that it looks like it was built. So, just making sure they're continuous. And not like that. We'll just keep cutting through. working our way to the other side. Now, UV editing definitely is not my strong point. Uh, I mean, UV anything is nothing. Um, I'm good at no part of it. Um, so, We'll just see what results we get here. And we'll mark seam. So we got the whole bottom half separated from the top. Now let's separate mm, this part to select the area around that. Shift E, mark seam. Do the same. For the other side, control E, mark same. Now we go back into front view and we're just going to L, H, hide that, and we're just going to unwrap the buttons as well. Just select these. So I'm just holding Alt to select the loops. Press B, middle mouse button, remove that from the selection. Same with this other side. Control E, mark seam. We'll just select all of the loops right here before the bevel. And we're just going to select just one edge there, mark seam. Now let's Alt H, bring it all back. We got this in top view. We don't really need reference images anymore, so we can go ahead and remove that. And let's see. I'm going to bring down a UV editor window. Remove that. And first, let's look at some of the possibilities. Um, here we go. Let's choose smart UV project angle limit of 60 and that appears like it did it very good however
However, I was not very pleased with this one. So we're just going to choose unwrap. And it actually unwraps it as we did the UVs. And since um, they're overlapping, we'll select all, double tap A, control A, control P. And we got a very nice UV layout now. Something worthy of being proud of, of course. So now from this point, um, let's see. We got our AO controller and um, basically I click new, set it for 1024 by 1024 and create a new image. So in textured view, the whole controller was black and I just had this screen. We're gonna save. In fact, we're gonna increment this save, jump up by one. And we're gonna choose bake with the controller selected. I'm gonna increase my samples to just 30. Leave it at 30 and click bake. Now, I actually like watching this fill up. It's a sign that I'm definitely moving along, um, but it does take a while. So with that, I'm going to pause the recorder and um, start back up once this is done baking. Alright, back from letting that render, I mean uh, letting that bake. As you can see, my screen is getting distorted in the viewport. Um, I still don't know why that's happening. I think it's because my computer is falling apart. Um, I wasn't really planning on making any more tutorials till I finished. Uh, well, until I got a replacement, but uh, it's hard to stay away or wait that long. Now, we see on this map that there are some dark areas that we can actually just go in and clean up. The rest of this is actually, uh, we can fix that just through some image processing. So we're going to go into texture paint mode and change the brush to this and lower this down with F to shrink it. And we're just going to paint out areas where it looks bad. So paint, paint, paint. Uh, that one's not going to let me get rid of it. Why is that? Maybe I gotta click away from it. Nope, not gonna let me do it. It doesn't matter though. Um, these are so small that you won't see them in a render, but I like to look at my objects in textured view so it does make them look better there. And that's gone. Let's look around for more areas of roughness. You can see that my computer is probably a fraction as good as it's supposed to be like that's one thing I've learned about Macs don't use a Mac never ever use a Mac <laughs> um, but uh, that should do it for cleaning it up um, Go back into object mode, go into regular view mode, and change this uh, display to textured solid. And now we got our controller. Looks pretty good. Turn this off. Um, so you should be viewing yours in textured solid. Apparently, I can't. We're going to also go ahead and save this map. Save as. Uh, desktop, we'll call it PS3 controller tut, and this one, and we'll just save a map image in this directory. So now, in here, I got all my blend files, and I got my AO bake. So I'm set there. And 
admin settings we're going to turn off AO and I guess we're going to get rid of that. We also need to bake AO for the ground but we'll do that later on. So if I render it out now it comes out a little faster. Still taking incredibly long no. So let's go ahead and start off with the texture. So the texture we're going to start off by deleting it all. We're going to call this one controller save the file of course save it all the time blender crashes my computer freezes like nobody's business um, so the first thing we're going to do is I guess bring down a, not that window bring down this one change this one to a node editor save it again choose use nodes create a new material we'll call this AO bake now material knows is something I've noticed that there just aren't a lot of tutorials on and that's awful but I could understand they are a little difficult to get the hang of but once you realize their uses then you find that they come in handy for a lot. Um, we're going to add another material, and this one's just for the AO bait. Uh, we're going to go into textures and do image open AO control mapping UV. We'll use that for UV text one or the basic one screen distorted again I've just gotten used to it um, but here we go we got our first material this material um, is j just as that for now um, so we go and put our next material our next material is going to be controller never seen it turn green. For controller we're just going to make it gray and now we'll maximize this view and shift A color mix and let's see how that looks. It looks good. Can't really notice any of the detail. That's because I'm rendering it with only 25% of um, the screen size. So we'll look at our black white. Let's go under textures. We're just going to remove the textures so that the black white is just a wide. specular we'll change it to black fine all right let's jump back in here again we're going to input material not there though we duplicate this change this to a Screen, where screen? There we go. Connect it up. We want a screen. And we only want to use the specular values. So we also duplicate that, change this to fine, 
connect this up and finally connect it to our output if we look at our material it looks kind of weird in the viewport and waiting on another render and that'll do it we got our little highlights going and compositing will um, make these come in a little harder um, we're going to screen the the brights a little more add to that um, And now uh, we should probably begin working on the buttons. The buttons are something I've not been wanting to do. So we got our controller material created. Name it controller base. Maybe turn on. Let's see, I'm just going to render out a portion of it so it doesn't take so long. Get it right there. And that's good. We got the look that we're going for. So we are done with the controller black material. So go ahead and save it. Make sure we keep saving it. Every time you can't think of what to do, just save it. Um, now for the buttons. So L, 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 L. Press P to separate them. And we're going to call this one Buttons. So we got our controller base, we got our buttons. And so for the buttons, we're going to come down here, add a new UV, press U, or actually, let's change this window to a UV image editor. unwrap so we got our first UV that's set to the AO we got this one that's down to the buttons and as we can see since we unwrapped it properly it unwra I mean uh, since we set up our seams well it unwrapped it without too much pain so let's select this PlayStation buttons that I believe we got like three videos ago. We'll unwrap again. And now all we gotta do is go into UV image mode and just place the buttons in there. Alright, so this one's triangle. trying to get it position. Um, so now all we should have to do is just make sure we got the rotation right. Um, and I'll do it for triangle. This one is circle so square is on the circle. shrink that down fits perfect um, X is on an R2 
So we'll just drag this over to the X area. Rotate it. And this one, um, I'm, tr I'm hoping to make it a little different than the original um, video I'd done. I mean, uh, the original controller I'd done. Originally, I just, you know, had it just a regular look at controller. I didn't even model any of the button detail or anything. So this time, we're going for the when and the completion. All right, we still have some problems, um, and that is that this object is still covering other stuff, so that'll cause some issues when it comes to UVing. So we'll just scale it on the axe and put it here, keep it out of trouble. From here, we're going to create a new material. We're going to make it completely transparent. And then we're going to jump over here. We're going to load an image or movie. Change to PlayStation buttons. Um, image mapping. Change it to clip. UV. And the alpha will be controlled by that for the sampling. We'll turn that off. Calculate alpha. Turn on RGB. And that's what we got so far. So if we go over to the other side and choose negative, we got that. So now all we got to do is make this any color we want, emit it one, and we're done. So let's uh, change this back to UV image editor. I mean, back to a node editor. We're going to go back to our buttons and choose to extend on this. We're going to make one that is, let's see. We're, we'll try overlay first. Uh, so we'll call the bring up uh, material 001, which we're now going to call buttons glow because that's our goal here. Our goal is to make it some glowing buttons. If we go in camera view, set it up with shift B to render only this portion, this is what we get. Hmm. Let's go back. Oh, silly me. For some reason, this doesn't look like buttons glow. It looks like something else. Um, so we'll just shift a texture. Just mess around, see what we got to do here.
if it works, um, that'd be great. But most often I met with defeat. Um, so how are we going to do this? Well, we're at 18 minutes. So in two, we're going to have to stop and start on the next part. Maybe it was just a blend mode. Let's try it. Now they're going to be completely orange. Alright, let's try it a different way. We'll mute that node so it just. We don't have to even worry about deleting it. Or. Yeah, we're going to worry about deleting it. Now from here, we'll try going under the... Let's try using a extended material and we're going to bring this up under buttons. Uh, maybe its value is controlled by its alpha. Hmm. Alright, what I'm going to do is pause the recorder and tune this out and we'll finish back up.